Hello students, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, we will do something really interesting. We will start with a geometry problem and we will start solving it in a way that is really hard. Computationally hard. And then, we will step back and take a second route, a second way and do it in a much simpler and computationally elegant manner. The reason I'm going to do this in this way is because sometimes we learn a lot while trying a single problem in different ways. Let's see. Grab a pen and paper and let's do this together. This problem is from ISI BMAT 2005 and it says that there is a right triangle ABC and BC is 3, AC is 4, naturally AB is 5. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's also given that there is a line segment CD such that this angle is 30 degree. Our goal is to find out the length of CD. What is the length of CD? So, when we first look at the problem, we might want to just use trigonometry and go trig bashing. This is the first method. I'll give you the second method in a minute, but let's go and try the first method and see why it is computationally difficult. So the first method is like this. I will use the cosine rule. I know that AB is 5. So, AD plus BD is 5. I will calculate the value of AD. I will calculate the value of BD. And I will equate it to 5. So, first let's look at this particular triangle. If I use the cosine rule, it says that 4 square plus x square minus 2 times 4 times x cosine of 60 degree because this angle is 60 degree this is 30 means this is 60 is equal to AD square so if I take the square root of it it will be equal to AD and what is BD? I will use the cosine rule in this triangle so BD is BD is square root of 3 square plus x squared minus 2 into 3 into x cosine of 30 degree. I will add these two equations and equate it to 5. So let's do that. We have square root of 16 plus x squared minus 8x cosine of 60 degree is half. So times half plus square root of 9 plus x square minus 6x cosine of 30 degree is square root of 3 by 2. Square root of 3 by 2. This is equal to AD plus BD. AD plus BD which is 5. AD plus BD is AB and that is 5. So that's equal to 5. So you can see how this is a, a good equation because it's just one variable we just have x on the left hand side we have x and with on the right hand side we have a number 5 so we can probably calculate the value of x the problem is this that this is already computationally quite exp uh, expensive uh, we already have squares inside the square root now if I want to get rid of the square root I have to square both sides and then I might end up with a biquadratic equation. In fact, I will do the first step to show how expensive and how challenging this can be. So, if I square both sides, I get 25 on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, I will have 16 plus x square minus 4x plus 9 plus x square minus 3 root 3x. I've squared them, so the square root is gone, plus 2ab, so 2 times 
16 plus x square minus 4x times 9 plus x square minus 3 root 3x. Okay, so first of all, 16, 9 and 25 result cancel off. So this is 0 now. So what do I have? I have 2x square on the left hand side. I have 2x square minus x times 4 plus 3 root 3 plus 2 times 16 plus x square minus 4x times 9 plus x square minus 3 root 3x. This is equal to 0. We are almost done because we will have to just take one of the pieces to the other side and square both sides to get rid of the square root sign again and then solve for x and we know how fun it is to solve a biquadratic, a fourth power of x equation. There is a formula but it's like too complicated. I don't even remember the formula. So clearly this is not the right way to do this problem or at least not the most fun way to do this problem. So we will try this problem in another way. So I tell this to my students all the time. Whenever you have a problem, have fun with it. Just don't take the obvious route. Don't keep on cramming formulas. Step back and think. Thinking is fun. Think what's happening. So let's look at this problem one more time. Now the easy or I would say the elegant way. What I'll do is I will do something very different. This is 30 degree. I will do a small construction. From the point D, I will drop a perpendicular. Let's call this point P. This is X. Now, we know that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. It's a right angle triangle. Right? Okay. So, this triangle DPB DPB is similar to ABC. I've just drawn a parallel line DP to ABAC. So we have two similar triangles DPB and ABC. We will use similarity. So what is the length of CP? CP here is x cos 30 and this is x sin 30. So what is x cos 30? It is root 3x by 2 and x sin 30 is x by 2, x times half. So I will use the similarity of triangles now. So what is the ratio? Okay, so the ratios are dp over ac is equal to dp over bc dp over ac is equal to bp over bc okay what is ac ac is 4 bc is 3 so we can the denominators are known this is 4 this is 3 what is the numerator well dp is x by 2 this is x by 2 and what is bp is 3 minus root 3x by 2. A much simpler equation with a single power of x. This is, it's a one degree equation. It's a linear equation. We can easily solve this. So let's see how we can do it. So we have x by, okay, maybe I can just copy this just for the ease of working and put it here. So if I cross multiply I will get x by 8 into 3 3x by 8 equal to 3 minus root 3x by 2 I'll bring all the x's to one side so I'll have 3x by 8 plus root 3x by 2 equal to 3 so I'll take the LCM LCM is 8 so I have 3x plus 4 root 3x equal to 3. So x times 3 plus 4 root 3 is 24 or x is 24 by 3 plus 4 root 3 and we are done. Instead of solving a biquadratic equation, we 
just by thinking about the problem, we brought it down to a linear equation and see how beautifully we could solve it. So it's often useful to think about a problem in multiple directions. Of course, we did not solve or we could not solve the by quadratic, but, but we at least learned that probably this is not the right way. So we tried a different way. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you are interested in ISI CMI entrances or outstanding mathematical Olympiad programs starting at a very early age, then you can join our community. Check the links in the description. All the best. Bye.